I swear to God. Welcome to my life. I'm Cassie and I'm getting ready to go to Prospect Park for a free Kalila concert. My friend Destiny's birthday is on Tuesday, also known as 7-Eleven, but Kalila is doing a free concert. Doors are at 6.30, so we are arriving a little after 4.30. It's sunny here in Manhattan right now. It's supposed to rain in a little bit, but weather for Brooklyn looks good, so we're thinking it's gonna be okay. Just babysat all day. It's Saturday, took the day off for the concert, so it was nice to still make some dollar bills. And I am packing my bag. I'm gonna bring a little blanket. I am hoping that it's like a sit down concert vibe because I'm tired. I just wanna chill. I'm gonna bring some potato chips, some candy, and I'm gonna drink this on the way there. I'll give you a taste test. I got hibiscus flavored LaCroix. LaCroix? I don't, bully me in the comments. I think it, you know what? It's not bad. I like it better now that I'm sipping it. It's pretty good. I don't know if I would repurchase it. Lemon cello still takes the cake for me. I'm wearing this Hello Kitty shirt and some jean shorts. I'm excited. I'm gonna bring my Hello Kitty bag too. So it's gonna be a whole look. But hi, if you're new, I'm Cassie. I live in New York City. I'm having some summer fun around here. I make vlogs. I talk about mental health and I am riding the wave of my mid-20s it's a wild ride out here but thanks for being here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything we have lots of fun and we chat lots of chats kicking the vlog off with the concert i'm gonna have a barbecue on tuesday for destiny's birthday i guess this is destiny's birthday vlog <laughs> let's rock and roll putting on the rings putting on the ritz i'm gonna leave this camera here as i sometimes do and do some phone vlogging so take it away phone cassie thanks for being here words I've spoken. <laughs> it's a little after 8. We got back around 11.30 last night, so I think I was asleep by midnight. I think I got a solid 8 hours of sleep. I feel a little tired, but not as tired as I expected, which is great. I have work today. The concert last night was so much fun. I think I'm mispronouncing Kalela's Kalela? Kalela? I think that maybe is closer. One of those words I've only seen read and not spoken. The concert was so much fun. The music was great. The opener 
kind of weird vibe. The actual performance was great. Melanie and I left, I think just a couple songs before the show was over because we wanted to beat the masses to the trains. We got a seat on the F train back <laughs> and it was great. I'm feeling tired. As you can hear my voice, I need to drink a lot more water, tea when I get to work. Coffee hasn't been sounding good lately. I don't know why. It started with just super milky things didn't sound as good and now it's like just coffee doesn't sound as amazing. And I don't know why. Maybe because it's the summer and it's so hot. One of my other coworkers says she was experiencing this too, so I don't really know. There's something in the air. I've been drinking iced London fogs. One of my coworkers taught me how and it, they're delicious. I'm feeling good. I get to see Henry later today and we get to hang out. My boyfriend, he's been gone for over three weeks at this point and he briefly visited me on Friday at work, but I was just able to kind of like give him a hug and chat with him for a brief bit. So I'm excited to actually hang out with him today and yeah, I just miss him a lot. Work. Ben Henry. I'm about to make some breakfast and drink a lot more water. I need to figure out what to do with my hair for work. Okay, bye. work and immediately had like a mental spiral due to hormones. I think I was a little malnourished, a little tired. I probably won't get to see Henry until like Wednesday. We just both are busy and uh, it's sad. I just like was really excited to see him but also was just hungry, overwhelmed, the usual stuff, you know? Had a good cry. I realized also that I bought sausage at Trader Joe's. Like I fully bought this $7 sausage to make the recipe that I just made. It just wasn't in my bag. I watched back through my haul from the other day and she just must have missed it. That is okay. I went and bought $9 sausage at a market nearby. It was expensive sausage altogether, but I ate. And now I'm going to film a video about self-care in a little um, plot twist of like, take your own advice, Cassie. Also last night, I somehow burned myself. You can see this red mark by my tattoo. Somehow burned myself before we left for the concert. And then this lines up exactly with where my watch goes. And I didn't realize that I had burned myself until partway through the opening act. My wrist was hurting so bad. I took my watch off and there was this huge welt and it had blistered, I guess, because I immediately put my silicone watch on a burn and then it just got way worse from wearing my watch. So I didn't wear a watch all day today felt a little off. I don't wear earrings every day. I don't wear rings every day. I don't wear necklaces, but my watch is one thing that I always wear when I go out into the world. So if I'm not wearing it, I always feel a little off. I'm going to film this video on my big camera. It's probably already up by the time you're watching this. It's going to be practical self-care and sort of mindset shifts that I have made to actually start taking care of myself. So definitely check that out. I'm, I'm proud of what I've come up with. I'm hoping I can channel the divine while I'm making it because I feel like I'm I'm on to something but we'll see how it comes out in the actual video just a gloomy day here in New York worked all all day it's starting to rain so now that's gonna be loud in the background of my video just one of those days I think I'm feeling a lot <laughs> live laugh love <laughs> You, the suitcase, you said it is a park barbecue. Period. Okay. Happy birthday, dear Destiny. Hello, my friends. I feel like I've been failing you these last few days. I honestly, what was the day that I had a bad day? On Sunday, I had so many feelings. <sighs> On Monday, which was yesterday, I really just worked 
all day, 8.30 to 4.30. Went for a long walk and kind of spent the night with Henry. We went on a walk in Riverside Park. It was a lovely evening. Watched the sunset. And tonight was my friend Destiny's birthday, which was so fun. We had a little picnic barbecue in Prospect Park. I'm wearing this little dress. It's so humid here, but this felt really lovely. My hair is a little puffy and I've been feeling lots of feelings, working through them and everything okay but the vlog has been lackluster to say the least tomorrow is a day off for me and i'm just gonna have a nice little morning routine and go to target which will be fun <laughs> and then thursday is gonna be a beach day which i think is gonna be a separate video i love vlogging and i love documenting the mundane and the nitty gritty and just everything but sometimes i feel like i'm feeling too much to do that like the documentation feels like a layer too much for my brain to exert and i just finished filming a video the other day all about self-care and like taking care of yourself and i was editing it yesterday the audio is not what i want it to be and also i filmed it when it was really dark outside but i like got the motivation to film it so i was like i'm just gonna do it my words are the most important thing. So I did. That's probably the video that is up for this. But I'm like, am I proud of this? I don't know. I'm feeling a lot. I'm feeling a lot. And it's okay to feel a lot. That's my song. I really need to clean up. It took me a little bit to decide what to wear today. I worked all day today too. But today was my Friday. So tomorrow and the next day I have the day as well. I don't really know. I feel like the, I don't really have a direction for this video, which is making me feel a little wishy-washy life-wise too, but that is okay. Uh, thanks for being here and witnessing me in my sweaty state as I always film without the AC on since it is loud. There is like a vent or machine or something outside. So there always is this like background whirring noise even though the ac isn't on it's just something that's outside in this courtyard <sighs> i love you lots and i'm going to go get a good night's sleep and take a really good shower and see you in the morning I went to Target after I went to the gym and I only got one thing I didn't need. So that's my win of the day. I just needed a couple random house things, Kleenex. I got some sunscreen because I actually haven't needed sunscreen or maybe I've needed it but I haven't worn it or I've used someone else's. And tomorrow for the beach, I definitely will want this. I also think Henry and I are about to go sit in Central Park for the afternoon. So I literally just got Target Sports Sunscreen, SBF 50, baby. I have face sunscreen, I use L to MD. I got a hand soap refill because I'm almost out of the hand soap that my friend Sarah sent us. Instead of repeatedly buying a soap dispenser, the one that she sent us is really nice. It's a glass soap dispenser. So Target Milk and Honey Soap for us to reuse that and we'll probably get a soap dispenser for our bathroom too right now we're just using a bar of soap i got whole milk instead of half and half for my tea because i've been drinking more tea than coffee and i think whole milk is a little better for tea because it's not quite as heavy and this is the thing i didn't need this is my favorite treat from target these madelines so good and i'm gonna bring them to the park today it's gonna be awesome i'm gonna walk you over here to the kitchen while we chat so that i can do my tea pro tip if you are trying to start a fitness habit i always go in the morning so maybe this would be different in the evening you could still apply this but i always prep a yummy drink beforehand when i tell you it is one of the only things i think about while i'm at the gym i'm just like my teas at home or my iced coffees at home like it's waiting for me and it really motivates me and when i get home I get my lovely little treat and it's great. I think I said this recently, but I have not been liking the sound of coffee lately. I don't know why I'm like exiting my coffee cravings 
after being a barista for a few years, I'm back to tea. Tea is where I got my roots in the world of caffeine. I was, have been a tea drinker since high school. This is just Yorkshire tea, black tea. I started drinking coffee towards the end of senior year of college, mostly because I wanted to be cool. I thought coffee drinkers were cool and I wanted to be in on the club. I think I said this exact thing in a recent video, but yada, yada, yada. I've been drinking coffee for a few years now. Now I want tea. So we'll see if my coffee face comes back. I don't know really why that would be. I don't know if it's a hormonal thing, if my body just is craving less caffeine. I'm very happy to not be getting so much caffeine. Mm. So good. Why doesn't it fit? Oh my God. I swear to God. This is why sometimes I just shouldn't film things. Okay, still wearing blue, but this is the outfit. I packed my bag, I'm about to put on sunscreen, and then we are going to Central Park, baby. We're also gonna get a Subway sandwich, so it's gonna be a great day. It is so hot outside. It's about five now. I just had my makeup therapy. It was supposed to be on Monday. And I am about to wash up all the sunscreen, eat some dinner, and settle in to get the video up for today. Thanks for being here. I have actually no clue what has happened in this video. I feel like there were a lot of highs and lows. And I think I said that yesterday too. But you know what, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow, Henry and I are gonna do a little beach trip day. So that'll be my next vlog, and I think that'll be really fun. I don't know, it's July 12th. We are halfway almost through the month of July. Crazy to me. It feels like 2024 is gonna be here before we know it, but we, we just started 2023. 2023 still doesn't sound like a real year to me. Also, I yet again have some tidying to do. Room is just in a constant state of madness. Thank you so much for being here. I am so glad to have gone to hang out with you for a little bit, even though it was a very up and down few days. Sending you all the love in the world. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. I am really out here doing my best, but it is really hard to do this while working all the time because most of my days I just make coffee <laughs> and then like 10 hours out of the week I'm spending editing. <laughs> it's like, how do people do this? They do it by not actually having to work because this is work someday. But this is a phase of life and I'm appreciating it for what it is. Glad I get free coffee and tea and lemonade and matcha and pastries and the occasional sandwich. Thanks for being here. Sun's really going behind and in front of the cloud. Moral of the story is I appreciate you and I hope you do something that makes you happy today because you deserve it and it's just what we gotta do. It's just what we gotta do, people. Thanks for being here and I'll see you again in the next one. Okay, bye.